Hello guys. Welcome back to the plot twist. The history of dragons in Westeros is filled with legendary creatures, each with unique personalities and characteristics. Among the dragons of Dragonstone, none were as fearsome or enigmatic as the cannibal. Known for his immense size, ferocity, and unique dietary habits, the cannibal stood apart from the rest of his kin. While many dragons were bound to house Targaryen, the cannibal remained completely wild, untamed, and fiercely independent. His dark legend lived on even after he mysteriously disappeared following the end of the Dance of the Dragons. Before we proceed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Your help keeps me motivated to make such deep dives possible. Appearance and Character The cannibal was a dragon unlike any other, both in appearance and temperament. His scales were as black as coal, giving him a terrifying and ominous appearance that matched his reputation. His eyes were a striking green, often described as menacing, reflecting the dragon's ruthless and savage nature. He was the largest and oldest of the three wild dragons that inhabited Dragonstone during the Dance of the Dragons, with Sheep Stealer and Grey Ghost being the other two. Though the exact size of the cannibal remains uncertain, he was believed to rival the size of Vermitha and Vaga, two of the largest dragons of the era. What truly set the cannibal apart was his violent and unpredictable behavior. Unlike most dragons, who fed primarily on livestock and fish, the cannibal engaged in cannibalism, feasting on the remains of dead dragons, as well as newborn dragons and their eggs. This grisly habit earned him his infamous name among the small folk of Dragonstone. His viciousness and aggression made him a dragon feared by both humans and other dragons alike. The cannibal did not hesitate to attack smaller dragons and even other wild dragons, cementing his place as a dominant force on the island. A mysterious past. The cannibal's age and origins are shrouded in mystery, with various theories circulating about his past. Some claimed that the cannibal was so old that he had been living on Dragonstone even before the Targaryens arrived in 114 BC, which, if true, would make him one of the oldest living dragons in Westeros at the time of the Dance of the Dragons. This would place his age well beyond a century, a remarkable feat considering that most dragons lived only a fraction of that time. If the cannibal truly predated the Targaryens' arrival, this could explain his antagonistic behavior towards the Targaryen dragons, as he might have come from a different lineage altogether. This theory suggests that he may have been a wild dragon that had always lived on Dragonstone and was never meant to be bound to the Targaryens. However, these claims are met with skepticism by some historians, such as Grand Maester Munken and Septon Eustace, who believe the stories of the cannibal's extreme age and unique origins may be exaggerated. The exact timeline of the cannibal's birth is further complicated by the mention of the wild dragon Sheep Stealer, who is said to have hatched when King Jiheri's I Targaryen, also known as the Old King, was still young. If the cannibal was indeed older than Sheep Stealer, as many believe, this would place his birth somewhere in the early reign of Jiheri's or earlier, adding another layer of complexity to his already enigmatic story. The Cannibal's Violent Nature One of the most defining aspects of the cannibal's character was his inherent aggression, especially toward other dragons. He made his lair at the back of the Dragonmorn, on its eastern side, where he dwelled in isolation. Throughout the years, several ambitious men attempted to tame the cannibal, hoping to gain control of his power, but every attempt ended in disaster. The bones of those would-be dragon tamers littered the entrance to his lair, a testament to the dragon's deadly and unyielding nature. The cannibal's attacks on smaller dragons were well known. He saw no distinction between living and dead dragons and was just as likely to feast on the remains of a fallen dragon as he was to devour a newborn hatchling. His appetite for dragon eggs was particularly alarming to the Targaryens, as dragon eggs were rare and valuable. This tendency to devour dragon eggs may have contributed to the cannibal's isolation, as he posed a significant threat to the future of House Targaryen's dragon-riding lineage. The Dance of the Dragons The cannibal played a notorious role during the Dance of the Dragons, the brutal civil war between rival Targaryen factions. Despite being one of the largest and most powerful dragons on Dragonstone, no one dared to attempt to claim him for either side during the war. When Prince Jacqueries Valerian called for dragon riders to tame the wild dragons on Dragonstone in 129 AC, none of the dragon seeds, a term used to describe those of Targaryen descent attempting to bond with dragons, were brave enough to challenge the cannibal. His reputation as a merciless killer, combined with his history of attacking those who ventured near him, kept potential tamers at bay. One of the most chilling incidents involving the cannibal occurred when Silver Denies, a dragon seed attempting to tame Sheep Stealer, was brutally attacked. While trying to master the wild dragon, Sheep Stealer tore off Silver Denies' arm, leaving him gravely injured. As his sons desperately attempted to save him, the cannibal descended upon them, driving off Sheep Stealer and devouring both Silver Denies and his sons. 
This event further solidified the cannibal's reputation as a bloodthirsty dragon, feared by all who crossed his path. In 130 AC, another incident added to the cannibal's legend. The body of the wild dragon grey ghost was discovered at the base of the dragon morn, burned, broken, and partially devoured. Sir Robert Quince, the castellan of Dragonstone, quickly blamed the cannibal for grey ghost's death, suspecting that the black dragon had attacked and eaten his fellow wild dragon. However, the truth was far more complex, as it was actually Sunfire, King Aegon II's dragon, that had killed Grey Ghost. Despite this, the cannibal's fearsome reputation made him a convenient scapegoat for any dragon-related deaths. As the war raged on, Lady Bela Targaryen, a fierce dragon rider and warrior, expressed her desire to confront the cannibal herself. Riding her dragon moondancer, Bela believed she could outfly the cannibal and uncover the truth behind the dragon's alleged crimes. However, Sir Robert Quince forbade her from taking such a dangerous risk, confining her to her chambers to prevent any reckless attempts to face the monstrous dragon. Survival and Disappearance Remarkably, the cannibal was one of the few dragons to survive the Dance of the Dragons, a war that decimated much of the targeting some of the most powerful and beloved creatures in Westeros, but the cannibal endured, continuing to haunt the slopes of Dragonmorn. In 132 AC, an intriguing tale emerged involving the cannibal during the burial of Lord Corlys Valerian, the famed sea snake. As the sea snake's body was laid to rest at sea, it was said that the cannibal took wing and flew overhead, as if saluting the deceased. However, Archmaster Gildane, a prominent historian, dismissed this account as a possible embellishment of the story. Gildane Riley noted that the cannibal was far more likely to have eaten the corpse than to honor it with a salute. Following the end of the Dance of the Dragons, the cannibal vanished from history. His final fate remains a mystery, as he disappeared without a trace. Some speculate that he may have flown far away from Dragonstone, seeking a new lair, while others believe that the cannibal may have died in the wild, his body never discovered. Regardless of his ultimate fate, the cannibal's legend lives on, a reminder of the wild and untamable nature of dragons in Westeros. The cannibal stands out as one of the most feared and mysterious dragons in the history of Westeros. His coal-black scales, menacing green eyes, and brutal cannibalistic tendencies made him a terror to both men and dragons alike. While his exact origins and ultimate fate remain unknown, his dark legend endures, a symbol of the untamable forces that lurk in the world of dragons. As a survivor of the Dance of the Dragons, the cannibal's legacy is one of violence, fear, and mystery, ensuring his place in the annals of Westerosi history as one of the most dangerous dragons to ever exist.